What's up guys, in this video I will show to you how you can transfer files to and from your shadow computer. I will show you two ways, uh, one that I think is better, then there is another way you can use also. So let's start. Uh, let me open here, this is my computer, I have here a uh, flash drive. And I have here a folder called No Man's Sky, and I have these files around 6 7 GB of data that I want to transfer to my shadow computer. Uh, this is my shadow computer here, as you can see, and I cannot copy fast enough and paste. So how can I transfer these things from my computer to shadow computer? So let's start. I will show you one software called Resilio C. Uh, also know it as BitTorrent Sync. In the first uh, years of this creation, uh, this software works like a peer to peer connection and you can share files with. Clients. This don't pass through any other cloud provider like Amazon, Microsoft. So you can use your Google uh, Drive, your Microsoft OneDrive, or something with Amazon or Dropbox. You can use these tools. But first thing, you load the files to the cloud, and then from the cloud you download. Also works, but this way is a direct link connection between your computer and your shadow computer. So this is my Sync Pro I have here, and I want to see a folder with someone. I have a license here, so I will create an advanced folder. Then I can check uh, and revoke access, but there is a thing here that I would like to show you. Advanced folder, and I will select the folder that I want to share so it's no man's sky folder hmm. now I will share this link with someone I can give the read only access the read and write access or the owner access I'm a downer so I will be the owner where I just I, I, I will read and write so you can go Back it for your shadow computer. So read and write, copy. This is the thing. I just copy a link and then I go to my shadow computer. I just need to open the Brazilian sync client. Add enter a key or link. Paste here, oh, copy more than I expected. And where I want to save this file. So I want to save in user shadow resiliency. I'm in sky. Yes, should so okay. Uh, selective sync. Yes, this is one perk you can have if you buy this product. You can select files you wanna to sync if and between your computer so connect shadow wants you to access no main sky so you have full control of who's access access to your folders yes I want to prove now, I change your permissions to read and write. You show here, I have peers online. I have two clients. And from my shadow computer, you start to see the folders. Then, when you finish, you can go the file you want to sync and 
and sync to this device. And the file will start to be synced to your computer. So as you can see, it speeds us up and down and the file was synced. Whoa! That fast! Now the file is in my missing codex. Okay. And the file was in my shadow computer and I can go for it. The other way I can use the same folder. Let's grab here the file. Let's use this file here and add to Brazilia Sync No Main Sky folder. Oh, the video now pops up. And then add my folder that was in sync. After the complete indexes. I will be able to download this picture. Come on. And now you can see the file is in my computer, not in my shadow computer. Here is file in my computer. Another way that we can do the same thing, if I press Windows Alt and the O key, you can set a USB. that you want to forward to your shop. So I can set here my data traveler 3.0 my flash drive and now the flash drive will be forward to my shadow computer. It's forwarded. Okay let's wait a few minutes. It's sinking As you can see inside my shadow computer, I have my flash drive. Let's try opening this file. Inside my shadow computer, it's not that big. I have around it's less than one mega of data. So here it is you have your files between your shadow computers. Okay guys, uh, I hope you appreciate the video and stay tuned for more shadow tech informations and tricks and tips. See ya, bye bye.